Hey everyone, I'm just popping in with a short video to show you something really cool that just dropped in Luminar Neo. It's in the latest update and it fixes your distortion as you're going into HDR merge. Let me show you how it works, it's pretty cool. So let's jump here into Luminar Neo. I have three images that are up on the screen and I wanna merge them into HDR. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all three of those. I'm gonna hold down the shift key, click on the first one, then click on the last one and then drag those into HDR Merge. Now we've got some options here if we click on the little More menu here. I usually select Auto Alignment for Everything and Chromatic Aberration Reduction. What's new is this distortion correction, and that's gonna go ahead and correct any barrel distortion on the images, it's gonna fix any vignetting around the edges, and basically clean up those files before it merges. And it's something that I used to go into other software to do before I brought them in here to merge, and it saves me a ton of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Then we can go ahead and click back out here. Since I'm only merging one set, I'm gonna turn off batch HDR and click merge. And that's gonna go ahead and merge these images together and correct that distortion. So here's that image, and we can see it's nice and clean. The images are merged, it's nice and sharp. To go ahead and compare, I do wanna do one that doesn't have the distortion correction so we can see what that looks like. I'm gonna jump back over here to my single image edits, and I'm gonna go ahead and click here in catalog so we can see all three. Select those images. One more time, we're gonna drag them over here to HDR Merge. I'm gonna click that More menu, turn off the distortion correction, and then we're gonna go down here, turn off the batch HDR and click Merge, and we'll see what it looks like to compare the two options here. There we go. So we have our first one and our second one. This one is with that correction, and this one here is without. You can see it fixed some of the distortion of how the lines are aligning. And then also, if you take a look at the corners, paying attention up here in the upper uh, left in the sky, you can really see that it's corrected that vignetting from my lens. So that's it. I just wanted to show you that that's there. It's a great new feature. It's going to save me a ton of time in my HDR workflow, and I hope you guys check it out. Have a great day.